What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Astroneer. So today we are going to start working on a few little automation projects. A couple ideas that I've had, a couple things I've seen online. Now I am not claiming that I am making any of these things on my own. I guarantee you, somebody else has already come up with it before me. So uh, yes, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. We don't need comments of you stole this from somebody. No, what? Maybe I not directly. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue, shall we? So. Uh, what we're going to do is I want to set up a super basic, easy, automated bite researching facility kind of thing. This is something that I believe you will be able to do fairly early in, early in the game and will be super helpful. And again, you guys might already know about this and chances are you probably already do, but I want to make a video covering it for those of you who maybe just didn't happen to think about it. Because I honestly, when this update dropped, I did not think about this whatsoever. Uh, what am I doing? I'm looking for auto arm. Okay, so graphite and aluminum. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get graphite, which is uh, that's titanium. There's graphite right there. Okay, cool. We got seven graphite and um, I think we're just going to go with one. I don't think I don't think I need anything crazy here. Uh, we just need one of those and then a aluminum as well. Let's see. All right, we got an aluminum right here. So I want to get this guy and I'll leave it right there just in case we're going to need it for anything else. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to make one auto arm and then we are also going to create hmm where did the resin canister go Is, was this the resin canister i'm pretty sure that was the red i'm pretty sure that was it that was the resin canister canister okay so let's do uh let's get some resin in here and ooh, i need to bring my rover back up here because it's got all the soily goodness on it that i need for the things and the stuff okay so we have our one auto arm amazing amazing um let's put that right back here Oh, shoot. I just completely ruined that a little bit. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. All right, so let's grab another resin. Uh, we'll throw that in here. That will allow us to build a standard platform. We just need the one. It's not going to be anything crazy. Uh, we're going to get this guy. And then I'm going to want some kind of storage thing. Now, like I said, I feel like this is something you could do fairly early in the game. Um, now... I'm going to probably end up hooking it to an RTG. Actually, no, we won't. We won't even do that. We won't hook it to an RTG. We'll leave it like it is, and uh, we'll make it based off of another power source that you would have readily available. Because if I do an RTG, it's going to be like immediately cancel out. And you're like, well, I can't do that because I don't have RTGs yet, uh, which is probably, uh, it's not really the case. Why is this scrap over here? What are you doing, scrap? Get in there. Get sorted. Get sorted, son. Okay, so let's wait for this guy to get done. Um, and then we're going to need a research chamber. Now, I actually have a research chamber on this base here, and I'm never using it. So I'm just going to package this guy up. You can build your own. Do what you need to do. But I just I don't need it. We'll grab ourselves a packager. Package that bad boy up. And this platform is now done. Fantastic. So we got a research chamber. We've got a platform right here looking good. Um, And I think... Huh, I think that's kind of all we really need. Uh, we could take a medium storage with us as well. But let's just take this guy uh, for now. And let's head to Glacio. So I'm going to do this on Glacio. You could do this on other planets, depending on like where you're at. You could do this right here, right now, if you wanted to. But I'm going to go to Glacio because I feel like Glacio is a good place for this to happen. It's a good place to do this. Um, it's, it's not hard. Glacio is always my recommended first planet to travel whenever you can travel outside the planet that you're starting on it's such a good planet i'm telling you it's good it's worth it go there visit vacation glacio see glacio i feel like there should be a a website see glacio.org or something like that <laughs> and we're on glacio how nice indeed it is to be here i guess yes it is now we have these couple items right here so i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna unpackage these uh because i want them just chilling on here anyways and then we're gonna get the auto arm we're gonna throw that on here as well now my plan is as follows okay so this guy we should be able to get onto that platform right there cool now uh when it comes to the auto arms you have to make sure that the part of the platform that you're going to uh be storing things on is actually where it can be stored so we can store things on this guy right here and any storages that are built off of that so I want to get, um, you know what? Let's just get a, let's just get a medium. Uh, uh, hmm. Do I not have a little, where's my little printer at? Do I not have a little printer here? Oh, it's over here. What are you doing over here? Little tiny printer. Oh, he's so cute. Okay. So I want to get this guy, but I want to put, um, just a simple 
storage container on here something that's unlocked from the beginning again because i'm trying to i'm trying to get this to where this could be a very valid uh first type of storage deal okay so two resin there's one resin and two resin okay perfect so we'll throw that right there let's get this medium storage let's get it built up fantastic looking good now the only other things that are going to make this work again uh, i'm trying to do this like a beginner style status thing is i actually want uh i want one of these guys if not two i'd like to have two of them on this platform just to help out but just in case we don't have two that's fine uh let's see do we have another one yes we do we got another little guy right here okay so we're gonna pull these guys off of here and what i want to do is i actually want to put these on here um and then if you can, if you can find the batteries, I would recommend a battery, if not two. We're gonna run with two batteries just to be safe again. Oh, I had a, I had a little platform right there, that's fine. All right, so that is pretty much all you're gonna need in order to make this platform. Now, uh, I know in the very, very beginning, this might con be considered expensive. I honestly don't think it's that bad though. Uh, so just to make things like organized here, we're gonna do that, do that, do that. Okay, fantastic. So that is really all you need to do to get this guy going because the next step for me is I'm going to go place this next to a plant thing down here that has these guys are spawning on it. So this one right here is obviously spawning them because there's, there's a couple laying here on the ground and this one probably fell off of this one. But all I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to do this, get that lined up. That looks good. Turn it on. And guess what? Turn this guy on. It's good to go. It should be good to go. Why are you not researching? Uh, these should be going here. How come, how come you're not? Why is it not? It's, oh, it doesn't automatically take it from there, does it? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, planning, planning, new plan. Hmm, new plan here. Because that doesn't automatically work that way. Man, I was really hoping it'd be that simple. It's not, it's not that simple. Why are you not that simple? That's fine, because we got this not an issue whatsoever we're actually gonna have to use a platform oh that i don't like i don't like this platform but guess what there is a use for it now and i cannot argue it if there's a use for it i'm all on board but we need the medium platform type a oh my gosh why are we building it because we have to <laughs> because we absolutely have to all right so this is uh this should work I believe. All right, so let's take this guy down here and we're going to just modify what we already have. Uh, you could do this a little bit easier and cheaper probably without having to build this big, huge platform here. But what we're going to do actually is I'm actually going to hook it up this way. So that way it's not actually even going to be placing anything on this platform. It's just going to be taking stuff off this platform. Actually, let's move it like this. Get a little bit closer because we know this is the one that we stole from before. Let's get a little bit closer. All right. Looks good. And then we'll go ahead and unlock this guy. Let's go ahead and just cancel this. We don't need it. Oh, it does. It didn't actually delete the thing. Nice. Can I have that? Thank you. And we're going to put this here because now it should automatically take it from here and place it onto here like so. Uh, and then let's see. That one's on. Examine. We're going to go ahead and we're going to turn it on. So now, ideally, now we do have to wait for wind power. So this is why I did wind power because down here you can get wind power. Uh, it's not... I mean, it's not super common, but like it would work. An RTG would in fact be better. <laughs> I mean, that's RTGs are always better. It's just a fact. Everybody knows that. All right. So now what should happen is this guy's going to be, oop, there's a new thing. Grab it, place it, research it automatically. Look at that. Boom. 13 bytes per minute. This guy is worth uh, 1,049 bytes. This is not the fastest by any ways but it is fully automated because when this respawns this will grab it it'll take it it'll wait it'll place it on there boom it starts up again automatically now it's only gonna run when there's wind power so yeah it's i mean it's not the greatest fully automated thing like i said rtgs would make it better uh you know what let's go grab an rtg let's throw it on here let's just take a peek let's let's kind of just see what it would do all right let's throw that guy on there boom max power we're currently getting 39 bytes per minute fully automated 100 percent do not have to worry about anything we could leave this forever and we will always be getting bites because this thing i imagine respawns faster than this actually 37 minutes yes these will respawn even faster so 
uh, you could build off of this platform. You could come down here and you could try to make some kind of, um, you know, a better power plant or you could tie it up to your base up there. However you want to do it. But that is essentially one of the items that I've been wanting to build. I've been wanting to make this because it's like it's it's super easy. It's it's very easy, not super resource extensive um, other than the RTG. Again, you could use wind power for that if you needed to, but uh, your mileage may vary. Now, unfortunately, there is also no current way to automatically get organic to turn it into carbon. Um, even if you put like, like these are technically organic here and I don't think they actually respawn. So I'm curious if we'll ever actually see any type of harvestable organic that is replenished because that is basically infinite power. You just have to make a big enough, uh, a big enough thing to, to go off of it. Uh, without using you could use a soil centrifuge you could make organic that way and hook it up to a generator with some buttons saying turn on if the battery's empty all that fun stuff but essentially this is it this is all you need these will respawn on this guy and it will be ready to go now another option for you if you don't want to do this automated way if you don't want to worry about this being researched all the time another option you could have is instead of having a research platform get some storages and just have them store the little bits here and then whenever you're out doing whatever, you can come back periodically, check it, go over here, boom, research, research. I mean, like I said, Glacial 355 first cave layer, super cheap, super easy, and not very many hazards here. A lot of people are gonna be like, well, Aatrox, the, the ones in the bottom of Aatrox are worth like a thousand a piece. Well, Aatrox is kind of a pain to get to. <laughs> it's, got, it's kind of a pain to get to that cave layer uh, without going through the core and all that stuff. But um, that would be another option. You can have these just set up on all of these guys just to uh just to grab them and you'd probably be good with a singular wind turbine on each one because i don't think or a wind turbine and a battery i would say a wind turbine and a battery just to make sure that it does have power but i don't think this guy uses a whole lot of power just chilling here i don't think it actually uses anything hold on let's just let's just see this when these guys turn off oh it does it being on does actually use power but by the time this turns on and off and this actually has something respawned on it i bet let's see hold on let's let's wait we're gonna do some more testing here more testing required so much testing with this update i'm telling you all right so one wind turbine is actually not enough to stop it from depleting the battery it's not recharging it but one wind turbine might be enough just to let it do its thing once or twice uh actually hurt let's let's uh let me grab this we'll, we'll test it again okay We'll put this over here it doesn't have power currently so let's see this guy goes there when this wind turbine turns on let's see if this auto arm will actually pick up that piece and if it'll actually try to do anything with it oh it did it worked you all you need is a wind turbine you don't even need a battery just a small wind turbine it will work it'll get the things it'll do the stuff so you could absolutely do this here let me go grab a storage and i'll we'll kind of give you i'll, I'll kind of show you what i mean by this you could just leave it and set it passively you could do one of those on each in every one of those little nodes down there and come back to a whole bunch of goodies so let's go ahead and turn this this way and we'll place this guy right here uh let's rotate it and then we'll flatten it out place that guy right there now it's not gonna hit this first platform right here unfortunately it's not gonna happen but boom it grabs it it'll place it down and all you need is one wind turbine that right there essentially fully automates it so you come back through you can grab them you could scan them right here right now 350 bytes easy peasy or you could set up a system like this and this guy gets a thousand bytes but over the course of like 30 something minutes so honestly if i was gonna do this and i was gonna start from the beginning if if i didn't really need a constant supply i would just set up a few of these on all of these guys because i mean look at this we could just exact use the exact same thing bring it over here it's gonna grab that and when they respawn it's just gonna keep grabbing them and keep placing them and then you come back through grab all the bites you need it's it's actually i think that's actually much better than uh than the other way the easiest bites automated right there i mean it's it, you can do this on silva uh the ones on silver only worth like 30 or like 30 to 50 bites depending on uh where where you get them from but that's all you have to do come back through farm all these guys up you're good to go 100 percent good to go i love it i love it okay cool uh, but that's actually gonna end this episode i really want to do like a quick little tip a quick little tutorial thing uh to hopefully show some information shed some light on something uh but what are some other contraptions leave comments down below i'm going to be recording a few episodes there's, like i said there's a few things i just want to get done uh that i want to make that i feel like we have to make as you know 
out automation is now a thing we have to make some basic stuff so this is one of them hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more also we have tons of other videos on the channel feel free to check them out good times good fun for all but thank you guys for watching you have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you in the next one